welcome to Garamond Escapade. It's Friday the 21st of October 2022. Uh, it's cold, it's wet, it's damp, uh, but that's not dumping in my excitement. I'm off to the NEC! So I'm going to be there today, um, and then Claire and Darcy May are going to join me tomorrow, so I'm really, really excited, really looking forward to, uh, to getting there and having a look around. So yeah, I'm on my way. We've arrived, we're here, we're here at the NEC, so I've just parked, uh, we're going to take a wander over, find 18, pick up the media pass and then we'll take it from there, we'll be back shortly. So it's quarter past nine, the show starts at ten, I've sneaked in, so as you can see I've sneaked in before the public get in here. It's already very busy outside, there's lots of people out there, there's lots of people queuing and waiting to come in, um, so I guess probably today and particularly tomorrow and Sunday are going to be very very busy so I'm going to take a wander and we'll see you in a bit I must say it's quite nice to wander around before the crowds get in um, it's quite enjoyable I feel a bit uh, a bit cheeky actually being here before the crowds are here but there's a kind of a nice calm atmosphere um, I'm kind of having a bit of a speed walk around just to kind of get the lay of the land before everything starts but yeah so I've done it, I've walked the show all in about 20 minutes, can't be easy, I'll go home then, <laughs> no only kidding, so literally I've had a speed walk from kind of one end to the other and it's taken about 15-20 minutes, um, but I just wanted to get a quick layout of the land. So the confusion from my walk around is, uh, this time compared to back in February there does seem to be a good mix of both caravans and motorhomes. Um, I just felt last time back in February there was more motorhomes and camper vans and that sort of stuff but from what I've very briefly seen there does seem to be a good mix. Well the show's now opened, uh, I've got a bit warm walking around anyway so I've had to take the jacket off so I've got the trademark flowery shirt on but you can see the show's been open five minutes and you can see how crazy it is already. So, should be a good show. So, just had a quick chat on the Truma stand. Um, as you know, I had the iNet X panel um, installed a few months back. Uh, used that very successfully while I was away in France. Um, so, I'm going to do a, a vlog on that, um, probably in two or three weeks' time, on the aircon, how I got on, and that sort of thing as well. Um, but as you know the iNet X was, is quite a new product and there's still a few little kind of updates um, simple little tweaks and fixes like the LED lights on the aircon system and that sort of stuff but I've just been chatting to the guys and there is a, a firmware update so next time I'm in the van I'm going to do that probably do that before I do the vlog so I can show you all those things working but if you're about the show of course by the time you finish this or of course by the time you watch this you'd have already been to the show but again I had no real problems with the tumor product, been very, very happy with it. And the service and support that we got from the guys. So I'm just down the bottom end of Hall 12. Um, basically, most of your accessories seem to be down this way. Um, some warnings, you've got camper and dramatic, tow shore, various people there, clothing. that sort of stuff so that's all down the sort of bottom end here ah, this is actually not the main Dometic stand here this is Tamworth camping obviously exhibiting the camper tent and then you've got Dometic over here next to them so I'm just outside the Dometic stand, I'll take you for a quick walk round. I know people have had various different issues with Dometic, with it leaking and that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, I'll give you a wander round and we'll come back to you in a minute. So as you know, we've got the Grand A390, uh, it's two or three years old now, but I'll take you for a quick wander round for Dometic. As I say, we've had no real issues with our awnings, um, they've been fine. Uh, we have the all season material, which is the same sort of material here. Um, can be a little bit heavier, I must admit, but it's been great in France, it's been great through Christmas and the winter. Um, we do have the 
air brake as well, the all season air brake, uh, which we find a great bit of kit as well. And as you know, we have the uh, the sun canopy. Can't see a sun canopy here, but I'm just kind of wandering around, having a look what's there. It's quite busy at the moment, as you can imagine. The show's open. Um, this is, looks like the club air all season, um, which is kind of like our uh, Grande 390 and the same sort of extensions on the side. I must admit, I do like having the all season material. It just seems a little bit tougher, a little bit better wearing uh, and that sort of stuff. Here's the Grande Air Pro. Um, we've got the Grande 390 all season. In fact, that's the, uh, the setup we've got down there. So that was a very quick, brief look at the Dometic. As I say, I know that not everybody's and there are problems, but I can honestly say, hand on heart, we have had no leaking or condensation issues with ours. But maybe that's because it's the all season material. Look who I've just bumped into, it's the guys from Tanks on Tour. Hiya, Hello. hiya, nice to meet you James. <laughs> and you too guys, first time we've obviously conversed and watched each other's vlogs, but it's the first time we've met, so it's really nice to meet up with these guys and we've been having a good old natter about what we're up to and wandering around the show, so I'll put a link below to their site. Thank Check you. over, go and give them a like and subscribe. Lovely. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks James. Thanks. Just spent half an hour uh, at the Inspiration Theatre um, at the Meet the Experts um, session. Actually, thought it was quite good. Uh, it wasn't bad at all. Um, some varying ranges of questions. Wasn't really quite sure what to expect and um, you know how qualified the experts were, but it, it just turned into an interesting discussion all around kind of motorhoming and caravanning issues. Well, there's a turn up for the books. Um, I just bumped into a mate that I haven't seen in 30 plus years, an old REF mate, Cy Howard. Cy, really good to see you and your good lady. Uh, that's made my day bumping into you today, mate. So, uh, yeah, all the best to you. Really nice. So, just been having a chat with the guys at Swift, because I don't know whether you know that we've been looking for um, or keeping our eye out for a van that's basically fixed bed and um, fixed bunks. And we know that... Um, Eldis did one but didn't really like it um, but what Swift had just told me is they're going to start production in February of the Challenger 670 which is a fixed bed fixed bunk centre bathroom um, so quite excited about that unfortunately there's nothing here to see um, so we can't have a look at it because it's not being built yet but that's going to be the Challenger 670 uh, what I might do is kind of just have a look at what they've got here and see what the Challenger layout's like I might go back in a bit and just show you the kind of the layout inside the challenge. It's a little bit busy, there's obviously lots of people there and it's not fair for me to vlog while people are about, but quite excited about the thought of this 670 with fixed bed and uh, fixed bunks. So this is probably the biased part of the vlog um, from here at the Motor and Caravan Show. Um, I'm just stood outside MG Caravans. Uh, these are our dealers and uh, we use them, we've used them a lot, they've been absolutely fantastic. Um, I travel to take the caravan to ser for service with them, um, their support, customer service has been second to none. They're a family run business uh, but they're absolutely brilliant but if you want to buy a caravan, you're interested in a caravan, then certainly come and see MG Caravans. They have their own range so their own dealer special is the Accord, so they've got a range of Accord models. Um, basically the cord models are based on the sprite uh, with the extra dealer bits put on and you tend to find that you've got things like upgraded steadies, gas sockets, uh, external electric, um, self-styled interiors, MG Caravans will decide on the interior, that sort of stuff, solar panel, all those sorts of stuff. But again, this is MG Caravans and their cord range and it is biased. Um, because I bought from them but the reason we bought from them was because of the customer service um, nothing's ever been too much trouble it's never been an issue uh, we're really really pleased and after finding out about the Challenger 670 uh, if we do buy a caravan it will only be through MG Caravans and one of the great things the guys have said to us like the extras that we put on our caravan so the air condition and all those sort of stuff if we buy from them again they'll just swap it straight over for us as part of the deal so MG Caravans if you're here come and say hi 
So whether you love them or you hate them, here's your flag stall. So always here at the shows. Uh, some people love flags, as you know, we have flags out and we do like our flags. Other people hate them. Um, but again, you can always get your flags and your flashy poles at the NEC. So over down the bottom end, the other end is the uh, Avtex stand. As you know, we've got the Avtex sat-nav and a couple of Avtex TVs. Uh, and I saw Dan Trudgeon's vlog recently on the Wi-Fi system. So we'll take a look uh, and see what it's all about. I'll have a chat with the guys here. So I've just had a chat with the Avtex guys. Obviously, it's a little bit busy. The stand's busy, uh, that sort of stuff. But it's the Avtex AMR. Uh, 985 sounds like quite a good system very versatile able to fit two sims in it that sort of thing uh, what I'll probably do is I'll pop back to MG have a chat with them see if it's something they can install um, basically whether they've got the van in for service if not um, I'll probably get the system and install it myself but if I get the chance later on I'll come back and do a bit more of a review on it it's um, it's about half past 12 now and you can see uh, the show is particularly busy um, we're all the way over to the other end in the far hall. Um, this is where the various kind of gadgets and add-ons and that sort of stuff are, as well as the, the awning display. So various different awnings over this side as well, Darima, that sort of stuff. Not too and kind of as always as you get at these shows, the non-caravan related items. Uh, always a bit mind-boggling to me. The sort of stands and things that you get here that are just non-caravan but anyway that's my little moan um so yeah so here's the sun camp stand so the various sun camp awnings um obviously a lot in stock don't know a lot about sun camp to be honest i think we had one a few years ago um but i guess like everybody the various air and pole awnings and then we kind of wander down this way, cool boxes and portable coolers. And they're like little circular gazebos um, and all kind of interior bits. I guess these are more motorhome related. Yeah, looking at it, kind of more motorhome related rather than caravans. It's all your kind of custom bits. And Camp Tech. I'm not sure whether that's not a brand or whether that's actually an awning style. But there's a good range of awnings down this way, and you've got your outdoor resolution over here. I'm not going to stop and review all the awnings. Obviously, that'll take quite a while, but hopefully, give you a flavour of what's here. Obviously, by the time you've uh, you watch this vlog, the show will have been done and finished. But probably give you a flavour for the show that's coming up in February or certainly for the one next year in October. Of course you can't mention awnings without talking about Isabella, uh, obviously the premium brand in the awning range, uh, not only for awnings but also for the camping chairs and the tables and that sort of stuff so we'll give you a sweep of the range they have available or certainly on show here today. They do a range of air awnings. I quite look, like the look of some of their air awnings. They do a range of air awnings and obviously traditional pole awnings. Um, I think the one thing I like about the Isabella awnings when they're up, particularly the pole ones, they just look very neat, very structured. I'm sure it's a case of, you know, the guys here have obviously done their best to sort of put them up. But even on site, I think, uh, when I've seen Isabella awnings, they just look pristine. I know you pay your money, but you certainly do get the quality yes, with the sorry. Isabella range. Right, I think I'm going to find somewhere to perch down and eat the sandwiches that I bought along with me. Uh, sit somewhere along here. It's never really anywhere you can sit down. Um, I could go into the cafes and buy stuff in there, but it's incredibly expensive. Oh, I've spied a spot up here to sit down. So let me perch on the end of here. So I'll take a seat here and I'll get some lunch. Well, unfortunately, my rolls have got a little squashed in the back of my bag, but they'll still taste nice.
Well, it's a spot of lunch, all done, uh, all refreshed. Slightly strange sitting in the middle of a, uh, a walkway eating your lunch while people are wandering by. But again, if you bring your own, there are really very, very limited places within the show for you to stop and eat. So something worth remembering. And they won't let you sit by the doorways either. Well, I've just bumped into the infamous one and only Graham, the caravan vlogger. He was at the MG stand there with some friends and just signing up and getting something sorted. But I'm not going to tell you what that is. You'll probably know by the time this vlog comes out anyway, but he's only gone and done it. So there we go. So, fancy the coffee, just going to go and grab my coffee and the camping and caravanning club. I've got a little members area. Uh, where they're serving coffee and that sort of stuff so I'm going to wander in here grab a coffee um, we're members of both the caravan motorhome and camping club and the camping and caravanning club so we'll give this a try see what it's like I think it looks like it's table service we'll see if I'm getting so just had a quick coffee in the camping and caravanning club members area. It is a free coffee. Once you get in showing your caravan membership card or your club membership card, they'll take you to a seat and they bring you over. So it's coffee, tea, soft juice and water. It's okay coffee, but it's nice to have five minutes, sit down, but it is very, very busy. So we're just out here or just outside the EMP stand, the leveling system that a lot of talk about, not a cheap system uh, by any means, but does give you that ultimate leveling of the caravan. Various bits here. So basically, um, you activate it, press the button, and the legs come down. Uh, you've got also got some uh, hydraulic rams on the axle as well. So between all six points, it levels the caravan out and takes the weight off the axle. So it'll make it quite steady, that sort of thing. Um, well, let's have to have a think, probably something for the future. So we're just wandering down, heading back down to Bottom Hall 12. Uh, and we're just wandering by some of the uh, camper vans, really. Just a quick view in. I suppose I like the idea of maybe hiring a camper van and using it for a couple of weekends away, but permanently, I don't know, not for me really. Um, but yeah, just to give you a bit of a show of the camper van. I mean, there's a whole big area, to be fair, on the camper vans. If we look over here, look, there's loads more. Big area around there. So, definitely camper fantastic you know what I'm gonna have to take something back I've been moaning about the stalls and things like that that I've seen here that have nothing to do with caravanning and camping and that sort of stuff um, you know the ones I mean for like the foot spas and the, uh, the massage oils and uh, the cooking bits all those sorts of stuff um, but <laughs> I've literally just walked past a, a, a stall that does house signs uh, and Claire and I have been looking for a house sign for a while so when she's here with me tomorrow um, we'll go and have a look at these house signs. So I need to take it back really, um, moaning about maybe I can see why some of these other stalls are there because you have other requirements outside of camping and caravanning. But hey ho, I'll still moan about them anyway. So we're now in the bottom end of Hall 12. Again, more kind of accessories here. Um, the different accessory stands. So I'm gonna have a wander around, have a look through those. Um, here's another one that's got the new Avtech sat nav. So this is the one I'm looking at. Um, this one here. This is AMR 985. The one that's got the dual SIM port, external antenna, internal Wi Fi antennas, 5G ready. There is just so much at this show. I mean, trying to put together or decide what to film to make a useful vlog or things that you guys might find interested rather than just kind of flicking over things and flicking through things. I mean, we're now moving down into the sort of um, trailer tent. 
type of thing. So we've got a whole range of trailer tents here. You need the bit for the wheels. Yeah. All sorts of different trailer tents. Even inflatable trailer tents by the looks. Yeah. These look like your kind of extreme off-road, the real adventure type stuff. Sort of thing you'd stick behind a Land Rover and go off-roading somewhere and then blow up. Or inflate, sorry, not blow up. Sort of thing you'd inflate once you get into the back of beyond. So I'm just over at the collapse stand in Hall 12. Um, obviously you know we're collapse users anyway, uh, already using the kind of flexible hoses, the buckets, that sort of stuff. But we've been following with interest their, um, their equivalent to the aqua roll, um, so to speak, their kind of collapsible water container. Now they've gone through quite a bit of development over the last couple of years, um, and they're nearly there. I've just been talking to the guys now, they're tooling up at the moment, so the fresh water is going to be available from April, I think the guys told me. Um, so here's the prototype. You are actually just looking at the prototype at the moment. Obviously, you've got the tap if you want it, everything else. But that is, so it's a 20 litre, uh, comes with a trolley. It's got a non-return valve on the back, so you can link these together. And I think this is probably what we'll do, um, is we'll get two of the 20 litres, link them together, um, and then but with it being a non-return valve you can disconnect go away and feed uh, fill one bring it back and reconnect it so you can continually have uh, fresh water without too much of a problem um, great thing about these is they will collapse down nice and flat if you're familiar with the collapse product um, they do collapse down so April it's going to be available for sale um, do you know roughly what sort of price yet 80 so £80, which is a very reasonable price. Um, you know, a little bit more expensive, yes, than the Aqua Roll, but it's a, it's a different baby. Um, you know, the, it's adaptable as well. You can have it as a pure water container with the tap. Um, I must admit, I don't know the full features. But obviously filler cap, simple filler cap. Sorry. Oh, and locking lid, so the locking lid as well. So you can lock the lid on there. Oh, that's right, so you could actually... So he was just showing me this. I should really listen to what's being said to me. So he's just showing me this before uh, before I started recording. The lid's twistable and lockable. So if you want to carry um, fresh water within the caravan or within the motorhome, you can carry it. So this is going to be available from February. Um, they're tooling up now, £80. There is um, going to be a separate charge or cost for the trolley. Um, but I've just talked to the guys here and they look at maybe setting up some deal or that sort of stuff So you buy the the trolley and the aqua roll together But I think for us what we'll do is we'll get two plus the trolley uh, And as soon as we can get hold of the product what we'll do we'll, we'll get it out there in the field We'll give it some testing and we'll basically vlog it and report back to you while I'm here Let's have a quick look at the rest of the product range Obviously, you know most of this the infamous waste pipe of wisdom Everybody knows about that one. Um, this is the yeah, waste system. So these are, again, I'm not going to show you how to these. You've seen me on a vlog anyway doing them. Um, but we used them quite successfully in France. I think in France I had to put six of them together. Um, worked really, really well. I think we did have one point where a couple of them kind of popped away. But I think that was more with the heat than anything else. You know, we were in sort of 40 degree heat. This, don't go anywhere without it. Obviously that's your filler nozzle. So we use that all the time. Um, what else we got? We got the buckets, we got the collapsible buckets. The big one for me that we've got as well, and I can't see one here, have you got the collapsible water, watering can? Yeah. So for me, collapsible watering can, there we go. So basically collapsible watering can, ah, that's new, need to get one of those. Because um, we got the collapsible watering can, and what we use it for is for filling up the um, flush on the toilet. So we use it to fill up on the truss. Here it is packed down. This is the same one we've got. The blue one, everything packs away into the bottom. Uh, we don't use the rows and that sort of stuff, but we have it set up like that, fill it with water, and it's ideal and easy for filling up the... Um, I'm going blank here. For filling up the flush on the toilet. We use it if we just need a small top up on the barrel as well and that sort of stuff. So, yeah, there it is. I'm going to find out more about this because we don't have that, and I can see how that will make it easier for filling up the flush system so there we are just give you a quick resume different containers different water carriers um, obviously various pet products as well this is going to be the non-return valve for the waste 
Is that right? Am I right in thinking that for the waste? No, no, this is an inline filter. Oh, inline so, filter for the waste. So basically, yeah. I think the idea with this is you put this inline filter in the waste. So as you're emptying all the rubbish out your sink, that Correct. sort of stuff, it catches all those bits of food Correct. and scum and all that sort of stuff. It's biodegradable um, filters. So it's got biodegradable filters as well. Um, we'll have to get hold of one of those and we'll do you a review on that as well because we haven't got one of those yet. So. If you are about, if you do get down here, come along to Collapse Stand. I'll put a link below anyway into all their products. As soon as we can get our hands on the uh, on the fresh water barrels, we'll get hold of them. We'll do some reviews and we'll let you know. The guys from Collapse there. Um, as soon as that new water containers out um, I'll try and get hold of one we'll use it we'll give it some reviews um, there's been some tooling issues I think apparently that sort of thing but they're gonna get the fresh water out first and then they're gonna follow it up with a waste version a grey water waste version again these things are linkable so you can kind of link more and more up with the non-return valve so that you can have more water capacity more waste capacity or least but for me the big advantage with that stuff is that it is going to be collapsible and at 80 quid i don't think it's too bad a price yeah it is more expensive than the aqua roll um, you know double the price almost but i think the convenience of, uh, of being able to squash it around but let's see what the product's like um, as soon as we can get hold of it we'll give it a go so it's 10 to 3 um, been in here nearly six hours it is still very very busy um, i kind of guess it probably will be the show's open till six uh, there is lots to see uh, lots to look at depending on what your interests are um, I should probably have a bit more of a flat plan, but I just keep getting this way, that way. Oh, I must go and look at that, I must go and look at that, or I'll go and look at something, I want to talk to somebody, but they're not there or they're tied up. So, yeah, it's a great show, but if you are coming, or if you're going to come in future years, it probably is worthwhile working out a bit of a plan. Or just be free and easy like me. It's crazy. Can't move, people everywhere. Obviously a good show. Without the Carrack stands here, you wouldn't expect a caravan and camping show without the Carrack stand. So the rear, with all their bits and bobs, all their accessories, you either love them or you hate them. We get on fire with ours. We've got the Carrack Chef 2 um, and the uh, Safari Chef. Big problem we had was with the kind of grill pan. Uh, just trying to get that clean. It was just a nightmare to get clean. You had to get it really hot, that sort of stuff. And the solution is we just don't use it anymore, we just use the paella pan. So there we are, Kadak for you. Come, uh, we're just walking by, we come onto the tyre pal uh, stand. As you guys know, we're already using the tyre pal. We're using this system here. We started off with eight sensors because we had it on the car and the caravan on the twin axle caravan. Since we changed the car, we didn't need that. Uh, and we got it on the caravan as well. So it's worked great for us. Uh, it's worked really, really well. But I've just kind of been wandering by and noticed they've got a new system here. Basically, it's a small system. It's lightweight. It's a little bit more compact. Uh, it's got a solar charging panel and a uh, sort of 12 volt so charging port on there as well. And once charged, it will last for 60 hours. Same sort of range. Now, really kind of, I guess, designed for cars, motorhomes, and that sort of stuff. The, can you use it with just two sensors? No, only four. So this one is specifically for four sensors. So again, you've got to have a car, a motorhome, um, or like us, a twin axle caravan. But I'm just kind of looking at that and thinking, that's nice and compact. Um, that's going to work really well. You know, when we're traveling, we've got that in the windscreen. We've got the sat nav in the windscreen. We've got the cameras for the vlogging and that sort of stuff. But to have that, sat on the dashboard charge for 60 hours um, and you can charge it while you're not moving as well so you're not going to have leads and stuff running around so it's on offer today at the show it's only 90 quid so you know what we're going to get one once we've got it we'll get it installed we'll get it fitted we'll do a vlog and we'll give you a review let you know how we get on so as you guys know, we've got Paint Seal, uh, Paint Seal Direct on the caravan. We've been really, really happy with it so far. Um, as you know, we've been away to the south of France. You know how dusty it got, and we got this kind of brown dust all over the caravan. And literally, the 40 degree temperatures, it got baked in. Um, quite a bit of it's come off with just normal the shampoo um, that comes with a paint seal and water. And then we've used some of their kind of dry clean as well. But there is still an element of that baked on dust in there. So I've come across here to the guys at Paint Seal. Hello. Hello. 
Hello, here they are. <laughs> so just been having a chat with them and told them what the problem is and they're going to come out and have a look at it for me and try and get it sorted. So you can't say fair and that, certainly for customer service, backup, support and guarantee. So I'll let you know how they get on when they come out and hopefully we can get rid of that baked in brown. The um, show is getting a little bit quieter. What I might do is have a go at doing some caravan reviews. Probably do them separately. Maybe I'll wander over to MG and do a few reviews on their Accord range. You know, we don't normally do caravan reviews, but while I'm here and while I've got a little bit of time, we'll give it a go. So, it, literally about two minutes to six. Um, the show doesn't officially finish for a couple of minutes, but it's absolutely dead again now um, it was crazy earlier on I've had a great day um, done some vlogging done a few little bits chatted to a few people met some other vloggers uh, it's been good I've enjoyed it uh, we're gonna come back tomorrow not sure whether I'll do any filming yet or not but we'll Which see Again, the show is now closed. So there you go, the show's just closed. So I'm gonna head back. Um, I hope you've enjoyed what I've put out. I say it's been a bit here and there, backwards and forwards. So please feel free to comment below. Let me know the good bits. Don't forget, if you can, give me a thumbs up. And please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Hit that notification button and we'll see you soon.